going to show you how to velvet some chicken for amazing Chinese food. It makes it tender. It makes it like soft. Like, you know, when you go to a Chinese place and you just can't imagine how do they get that chicken like that? Anyway, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to trim up this chicken. I um, don't trim it as thick as I do because I do waste a lot. Uh, trim whatever you want off of it. I'm okay with that. this little bit here. I'm just going to slice it really thin, like that, all the way down. And then I'm going to add, um, I have it here on the right, I am going to add three quarters of a tablespoon of um, baking soda and about two tablespoons of water. I'm just going to make a little bit of a slurry. There we go, put that in my bowl. I don't make Chinese food without doing this. I always do this with Chinese food. It makes it so delicious. I'm gonna make a chow mein um, with this chicken for dinner tonight. Um, if you want my recipe for my chicken chow mein, leave it in the comments below and I will do a tutorial on it. But I just definitely wanted to show you how to velvet chicken. It just changes the flavor. It is amazing. And I'm gonna do one more. Glenn likes a lot of meat in his chow mein. I don't, but that's okay. I just pick around the meat and then he gets the extra meat. So it works. <laughs> I love the vegetables. My favorite in a chow mein is definitely cabbage, onions, and mushrooms. Mm. Especially cabbage. I like how you get that bit of a crunch from the cabbage. Yeah, lovely. Lovely jubilee. So let me know if you're gonna try this recipe because it is going to be a game changer and you're gonna wanna use it all the time. Your family is gonna love it. Those picky kids who don't like meat because it's chewy, well, let me tell you, they are going to eat your chow mein or your chicken and beans or whatever you're making because <laughs> it is delicious you can use it for things other than chinese food it doesn't have to be chinese food but whatever you want to use it for no problem you will thank me later let me know if you make it also please hit that like and don't forget to subscribe i am going to get my slurry going let's get this yuckiness out of the way this in here. I am gonna sprinkle on three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna mix that around and then I'm just gonna add my little bit of water just to kind of make it like a, a bit, I don't know, to make sure it all gets coated. <laughs> I love this method. So now this is gonna sit for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna give it a really good rinse and then dry it off before I start cooking with it. So let's let this sit for 20 minutes. I'll be back. There, she does that 20 minutes. Make sure your water is run super cold. Don't put warm water onto your chicken. I'll give it like a little, good little rinse, but I'm also gonna put it in a strainer and keep rinsing it. I just wanna kind of soak up a whole bunch of it like that. So I'm gonna get it into the strainer and then rinse it again. And I always put this bowl below it because when I do that, um, the water stays in, but I can still pull it up to rinse it. And get a really good rinse. There we go. Now we'll drain it and dry it. And that is velveted chicken. I'll show you what I make for dinner. Don't forget to like and subscribe.